going to go over how to download the chat editor software. Uh, this is from Saltillo. So if you follow this website that I sent to you, you'll get you to here um, called chat editor. And this is for if you have students that use touch chat um, or a Nova chat device. So it has everything from multi chat and most popular word power. So you'll go to all downloads. You'll agree and just choose the most, the latest version. So you'd click OK and it'll begin the download. I already have mine downloaded, um, but it will probably take around 20 minutes to actually download. So I'm going to open mine up. There it goes. Click English. I'm going to click Next. You do accept Next and install. Once again, this might take a little bit too. Okay, so it's almost done. There we go. I'll click Finish. And you'll see it put a desktop icon right here. Okay, that one didn't open automatically, so just double click it. Um, you'll choose this one, English. Um, this one lets you choose what type of symbols. I would stick with symbol sticks because that's what you'll see most often for Nova Chat devices and touch chat. Uh, any name that you want, you could do the student's name, speech, test. I'm going to name mine test, whatever you want to name it to help you remember. And yes, speech is disabled, just meaning it won't talk, but you can still see all the icons. Okay, so now it's blank. So what you'll have to do is go under library, go under English, symbol sticks, and that takes you to all the possible choices. And there are a lot on this one. I'm gonna show you all word power. That is the most popular one. Uh, different levels of word power, and you see that number? That just means how many icons are displayed on the screen. I'm going to choose word power uh, 60 just to demonstrate. So whatever you want, you'll just highlight it and click open. And this is 60. So if you wanted to kind of change your layout, you can go to view. Just going to make it a little bit bigger. Whoa, not that. So you can play around with it what you think you like. There we go. Looks a little better. So this one, you can explore um, whatever word power or vocab setting that your students use. Um, it helps you become familiar with where icons are, where things are hidden. Uh, if you wanted to have that student specific layout or vocabulary on your chat editor, there are ways to do that and get that imported. Um, and I can do that in another video, or you can just contact me and say you'd like the steps for doing that. Um, but I wanted to show you how to do the capture. So that's the same as the Write with Icons that we saw with um, the new voice software. Once you see this bar, you can move it around just to give you a better view of your screen. I'm going to move mine down just a little bit. So whatever you push from here on, once this button capture is open, it'll show up in this bar. So if I hit drink, it's there. Say I wanted a maid, it's there. And I can copy that to a clipboard. So knowing that, I'm going to open up new document. And I can paste it. And then I can go back into chat and do some more. 
So once again, whatever you push is going to go up here. So if I want to push back home, my home's going to go up there. You can just clear it. Um, say I wanted to do play. Maybe we're going to play with puzzle today. Copy to clipboard. Same idea. Going to go back. Go down. Paste it. Go back into my chat editor. And whatever else I think I might need. So once again, you can use just the green if you're doing some adapted books or maybe um, some activity where you just want to highlight those core words you can do that you can touch a bunch of them copy it finish read go back home stop copy it go back under this and you can paste it. And then if you see, I have home in there. Uh, so it, it copies everything that you push, but if you're just using these core words, you can make it bigger. It'll keep it as one picture file, but if you're just making them to cut out, then that's totally fine. If you didn't want the home button in there and you wanted the sequence, you could just copy things one by one and get them in there. Really up to you what you want to do with that. So as with the other one, you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, you can attach them to maybe some Google Slides if you're doing kind of a shared reading and you wanna have this icon next to the picture in a Google Slide, you can insert them anywhere. Um, so really cool tool to have, especially in this virtual world that we're doing. Go close on at that. Get back under here. So when you're done, just click exit and you can clear everything. Go back and clear. Um, so that shows you what that is. If you wanted to go back. So once again, when you're doing the capture, it's going to capture the sequence for that user area, that vocabulary. So say most of your students are on a 42 and you want to show the sequence for 42. You would go back under library, English, symbol sticks. See our word powers right here. We're going to scroll down. Whoop. Scroll down to 42. Open it. And that's what the 42 looks like. So if I went back under capture, um, a few pathways might be different from the 60. So play, puzzles the same. Copy it if you want to do it again. Oops. Eat cookies. So most of the pathways are going to be the same. It's really once you get into maybe some of those groups might have some different pathways and some of the core words down here. So it gives you a chance to explore and become familiar with your student's device and also has some good resources for how to make some therapy fun and exciting. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions or want any additional video tutorials on anything. Thanks.